Hi guys, today is uh, March 1st, 2021 and uh, futures are pointing to a significant higher open and uh, after uh, not so good February, uh, end of February, uh, as uh, last week, for example, uh, Nasdaq or QQQ dropped 4.9% uh, uh, and uh, uh, S&P 500 also dropped and uh, due to rising uh, rates, uh, basically 10-year uh, Treasury uh, yield uh, is was rising as high as 1.6 percent and uh, that's considered to be high uh, well it's not considered to be high but it's just a very fast rise from like under one percent to 1.6 percent it's just the speed of this uh, rise in interest rates scared investors and uh, right now raised uh, uh, rates uh, tempered off and uh, it's trading around 1.43 percent and uh, so a little bit uh, lower and the stock market is, uh, is taking well, but uh, in general, uh, there is a, a pretty good news from J and J, uh, and uh, FDA approved the J and J one shot vaccine uh, over the weekend, and CDC also approved the J and J vaccine uh, to use, and uh, that's also lifting the market uh, market's mood. mood. And uh, actually, uh, I will talk about J and J a little bit later, but in general. Uh, J and J, the third vaccine, and it was lower vac uh, 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 efficacy. Uh, but uh, as Dr. Fauci said, that uh, he would take any vaccine out of the three Pfizer, J and J, and Moderna. He would take uh, any vaccine and wouldn't uh, think about this uh, percentage, of which one is lower, which one is higher. But uh, they're all good. Okay, so so far so good in general, and uh, 1.9 trillion billion, uh, 1.9 trillion package is uh, sent to the Senate for the approval and uh, it's going to be deliberated for a couple of weeks and, uh, and then it's going to in include like one uh, fourteen hundred uh, dollar payments to individuals and a lot of help was uh, with the wires uh, to governments and uh, municipal governments to openings uh, to help with opening schools and stuff like that okay so let's jump to uh, SPY actually. Let's we'll start with SPY, uh, ETF or S&P 500, and SPY is going higher, and but it stopped last Friday right at the 50-day moving average, and uh, it's looking actually not too bad. I mean, uh, I like the stop at 50-day moving average, and uh, I think it's uh, bouncing off uh, at least right now. Uh, I mean, from what I can see, but QQ uh, is not uh, looking as promising as SPY. And uh, because it broke through the 50-day moving average, and uh, I mean it's not as as good of a chart as SPY is. So I can show you actually it's much more it's much better to see on the uh, stock charts actually than on uh, Ameritrade charts. Uh, this because it's more distinct. So as you can see, the QQQ broke through the SPY, 50-day uh, moving average, and uh, broke through the support. And uh, right now it's trying to come back, but uh, I don't know um, how successful this comeback is going to be. Uh, so, for example, SPY, which I have on another chart, is right at the 50-day moving average, and uh, it's it's looking much better to me than uh, QQQ, for example. Okay, So maybe that has to do with interest rates, uh, maybe... Uh, or it's just a chart. I don't know, but uh, that's uh, that's my assessment of the situation. Okay, so let's jump to stocks. And before we do that, and uh, if you can see, if you want to see my trades on pretty much everyday basis, you can see uh, a link uh, in the, in the description of this video to my Patreon club uh, 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 and to my uh, to see my portfolio, my trades, and um, drop me a like if you could, as it helps me with the YouTube algorithm. So uh, let's start with uh, J and J. Okay, so JNJ is trading higher, but uh, about 2% pre market after receiving emergency use authorization from FDA and CDC over the weekend. And uh, I mean, it's, it's trading pretty good. And I, like I said, Dr. Fauci recommends JNJ just like other vaccines uh, from Moderna and uh, Pfizer. But uh, uh, right now, I mean, I think JNJ is a pretty good buy in this area, like even 161 area. Uh, I think it's a pretty decent uh, buy to me. I mean, they're planning to ship uh, 20 million doses of vaccine by the end of the uh, by the end of March, and uh, it's a one-shot vaccine which simplifies logistics uh, for a lot of uh, for storage for uh, shipment and everything. So. Uh, 
that a lot of people actually like to have uh, one vaccine shot rather than uh, coming back for a second shot uh, with the other two vaccines. So uh, I think J and J can benefit from this, and uh, I think the shares may go higher. Okay, so DraftKings, DK and G. Okay, so uh, DraftKings actually reported better than expected uh, quarterly revenue and raised its full year forecast. And the company said it substan sees a substantial increase in, in new account activation due to further, further leg uh, leg uh, legitimization of the uh, game and sports, sports and gaming in sports. Okay, so the chart looks good really good for DKNG and um, actually I would be buying uh, DKNG right now and uh, as uh, you understand that the summer spring is coming up so a lot more sports are not on the horizon a lot more betting on the horizon so uh, I think this is like uh, a great pure play on the sports betting uh, except for uh, Penn National but uh, I really like DKNG I think the shares uh, is gonna go higher and uh, uh, it's a really good pattern for DKNG on the charts, and uh, I would be a buyer of that uh, of that stock. CRM, Salesforce.com. So Salesforce right now is trading higher, but it dropped a lot uh, on Friday after it reported a dollar four versus seventy five cents expected uh, expected earnings. Uh, revenues also beat. However, it gave it gave a uh, weaker than expected guidance, and uh, also analysts a lot of analysts are concerned. Uh, about their acquisition of Slack and how this that's gonna play out because uh, as you as you know Slack earnings are negative and that's gonna uh, take down earnings of uh, CRM. So I'm not very optimistic about CRM right now because uh, it doesn't look too good to me on at least on the chart. Uh, so uh, it uh, broke through the 200-day moving average and uh, it looks like it's uh, breaking uh, through the support. Uh, the next level is around 212. If it breaks through that, we probably will see uh, this stock under 200. So uh, I would wait for buy at uh, buying a CRM at right now because. The chart uh, doesn't look too good, and uh, actually, uh, these concerns about the Slack acquisition and uh, lower than expected guidance, uh, full year guidance, may pressure the stock. So it's going to be a, it may be in a penalty box for a while. Okay, Rocket, Rocket Company. So Rocket reported uh, spectacular earnings. Actually, earned a dollar nine per share versus eighty seven cents. Revenue also beat forecast and also uh, announced that it will pay a dollar eleven special dividend uh, for uh, to shareholders as of uh, record March 9th, I believe, uh, end of the day March 9th. But you have to be in it on uh, March eighth to get this dividend. So. Uh, pretty much, uh, uh, Rocket reported beat on all uh, in all phases and uh, actually firing on all cylinders. I mean, the, the rising rates will pressure uh, Rocket uh, Rocket a little bit, but uh, they have proven that uh, they can uh, perform well in all kinds of environments. So, uh, Rocket established a big base here, as you can see, like a huge base here is trading around twenty dollars for pretty much. Uh, I don't know the last seven or eight months has been dead money for that uh, long uh, and um, it could be breaking out here but uh, I don't know yet uh, but uh, to me it could be a big breakout for rocket that's very cheap stock in my opinion and a long-term buy RKT VACQ okay it's uh, another spec and uh, we'll be uh, taking uh, space transportation uh, startup or Rocket Lab pub uh, public through a merger uh, deal that values uh, Rocket Lab at 4.1 billion. So Rocket Lab is uh, the smaller satellite company, and uh, they produce uh, manufacture smaller satellites compared to, for example, uh, SpaceX that uh, uh, puts satellites on a higher orbit and uh, this uh, rocket lab is uh, putting satellites on a lower orbit but still it's much cheaper to uh, manufacture so manufacturing cost uh, much lower so i would be interesting to buy the spec actually vacq in uh, due to this uh, to these news uh, actually out of specs my favorite one is nga northern G genesis and uh, it's pretty, pretty low to me. It came down a lot, and uh, there will be merging with uh, Align Electric uh, later this year. And uh, I think it's a pretty good time to buy this NGA.
Okay, Walmart. So Walmart uh, reported uh, that it's uh, 35 uh, minimum uh, charge for its uh, two-hour delivery service. They're dropping. And in general, Walmart is trading uh oversold in oversold territory after uh, i mean it's been trading down since the reported earnings the earnings were not so good i mean uh, lower than expected but in general it's trading very low and it's a really good time to pick up if you always dream to pick up walmart this is a really good time to pick up walmart okay sos so sos limited it's uh uh, it's a company that's a uh, crypto mining company and uh, it was uh, recently uh, a target of the short attack and uh, as you can see it came down like really significantly to like uh, from a uh, high of almost $16 to like uh, $4.70 and cents that it closed on Friday and the company issued a statement that uh, uh, it believes uh, these attacks were uh, purposely designed to manipulate the stock price by short sellers and uh, shares are trading higher but uh, it's uh, I don't know I mean uh, I wouldn't buy it to the open but let it come down a little bit but in general like in five dollar area it's 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 not a bad buy in my opinion I mean I think it could be a, a compelling buy to me okay so in general I like Ebon out of the uh, crypto miners actually it's a company Ebon is the company that produces machines that crypto mines that does the crypto mining um, but uh, riot is also on my radar radar and uh, actually uh, Bitcoin and uh, cryptocurrencies are higher this morning uh, Bitcoin was higher last time I checked it was by four like around four percent so that's good news for these companies uh, but in general uh, I mean they will be uh, trading in the tight range but out of them uh, I like Riot and uh, Ebon okay and uh, uh, that's it guys um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the like button and I'll see you Thursday